Jalen Hurts a superstar? I believe he is. Um, I believe that when you look at the way that he performed in the season that he is coming off of, he is a guy that's not measured just by passing stats. He's measured by his overall impact on the game. I just knew he was made of the strongest stuff you can be made of. They didn't necessarily play their best ball, but is there something about Jalen Hurts? I mean, just something about his personality, his wiring, the game's on the line. He looks like he's just a flatliner, right? Born on August 7th in 1988 in Houston, Texas, Jalen Hurts entered the world into a family that loved the game of football. His father was the football coach at Channel View High School throughout his son's high school career, so obviously, football was just something that was ingrained in him. Hertz was a second team all district selection as a sophomore and was named the district 21 6A overall MVP as a junior. As a senior, he passed for 2,384 yards with 26 touchdowns and he rushed for 1,391 yards and 25 touchdowns. So basically, he's always been that guy. And he of course went to Alabama for college, which is where he sort of faced big adversity for the first time. He played well for the most part, but in the national championship, he got benched and Tua went in and led Bama to a comeback win. But even in this moment, Hurts stayed composed and acted happy about winning it all. He's always been a team first guy, and he waited to worry about what was to come next. And when that time came, he decided to transfer to Oklahoma. And after that, he of course decided to enter the draft, and then the rest was history. Meanwhile, the pick is in for the Philadelphia Eagles. We have the 53rd pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Philadelphia Eagles select Jalen Hurts. Well, it just got interesting, ladies and gentlemen, as Jalen Hurts is going to Doug Peterson, and there are a million ways this can go. In the high-stakes world of professional football, the journey of a player is often marked by unexpected twists and triumphant turns. In this documentary, we dive into the remarkable story of Jalen Hurts, a quarterback whose ascent in the NFL is a tale of resilience, skill, and sheer determination. Our story begins in the spring of 2020. The Philadelphia Eagles, a team rich in history and ambition, made a pivotal decision. They drafted Jalen Hurts in the second round with the 53rd pick, introducing a new contender into their quarterback lineup. Hurts, who was a promising talent, joined a squad that already boasted Carson Wentz, who was a former number two overall pick. I don't think the Eagles had much intention of him becoming the franchise QB at all when they drafted him, but he was an interesting pick in the fact that he had so much upside. And little did they know, he was going to completely change the direction of this franchise and have everyone believing again. As the 2020 season unfolded, the Eagles faced mounting challenges and with the team dealing with a big losing streak, then head coach Doug Peterson made a crucial call. He benched Wentz and handed the reins to the rookie Hurts. This decision turned the tide, and Hurts' dynamic play broke the losing spell, edging his name in history as the first quarterback to achieve a rare feat in his debut start, rushing for over 100 yards and throwing a touchdown pass. The winds of change were blowing. Wentz, sensing a shift, requested a trade in the offseason. The Eagles complied, sending him to the Indianapolis Colts. The stage was set for Hurts to lead the team in 2021. Despite skepticism from fans and analysts about his passing polish, Hertz led the Eagles to the playoffs. The front office, confident in his potential, continued to build the offense around him. 2022 saw a significant addition to the Eagles' arsenal. The team acquired AJ Brown, one of football's elite receivers, forming a formidable duo with Devontae Smith. Together, they redefined the Eagles' offensive firepower. Jalen Hurts' growth as a quarterback became evident. Reunited with his Alabama teammate Smith, he steered the team with newfound expertise. The season was a testament to his evolution, marked by a stellar record as a starter. And he was starting to become recognized as one of the league's top performing QBs. The Eagles saw that Hurts' confidence was blooming, a swagger that spoke of his belief in his team and himself. Loxley, who knew Hurts since his youth, wasn't surprised. He recognized Hurts' talent and unwavering work ethic. It didn't take long until Hurts started to make national headlines with his play, and he was able to lead the Eagles on a magical run to the Super Bowl against the Kansas City Chiefs. Although he ultimately fell short of his ultimate goal, he accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. And he's so young, so he has so much more in store for the future. And based on the way this current season is going, the Eagles may even get back to the Super Bowl again. And I know Hurts is locked in to win it this year, because you can just see his mindset on the sideline. And that's one thing you may notice about him now as a player. He never gets too high and never is too low. 
and he's a man of God and openly shares his faith. And being level-headed is the reason why he's going to be able to weather whatever storm comes his way, even though Philly is currently 10-1 and, and haven't faced any real adversity yet. Along the way, reporters have often asked Hertz to reflect on his journey, a request he has always refused. I don't think it's time for a reflection is what Hertz would say when they asked him in Arizona before the Super Bowl. The journey is far from over. Anyways, Jalen Hurts story is a true inspiration and overcoming all odds, he showed a testament to the power of perseverance. As he steps onto the field, he carries not just the hopes of a city and a franchise, but the dreams of every player who has ever been doubted before, which is literally everyone.